biology. In this series of lectures, we are discussing about the microscopy techniques, the microscopy theory, as well as the microscopy practical. So now we are going to see what is dark field microscopy and basically why do you use dark field microscopy in the first place? What is the principle of dark field microscopy? I have uh, this image which may seem complicated to you right now, but believe me, when I explain at the end, everything will be crystal clear. The first thing that you need to understand is the purpose of dark field microscopy and what dark field microscopy generally is. In simple terms, the dark field microscopy is seeing a specimen in the dark field, in the dark background. So basically, it's nothing but a little modification to the existing bright field microscope. We can do this modification for the bright field microscope to convert the bright field microscope into a dark field microscope. Where the background should be dark, means dark means black and the specimen will be visible on its natural color, on its natural uh, contrast, I mean increased contrast due to the arrangement of the dark field microscopy but as per the transparent specimen. So generally the biggest drawback of a bright field light microscopy is to distinguish between the transparent specimen and background. It fails miserably. The resultant images are not good. Although with changing uh, light intensity and diaphragm we can still try to get good image without staining but still will fail most of the time. That's why we introduce dark field microscopy as well as phase contrast microscopy which utilizes different principles but principles of light and light wave in order to give you a better quality image that you can understand, comprehend and with good contrast, with good resolution. So dark field microscopy is used in cases where, sorry, these are some images of the dark field microscopy you can clearly see. But uh, I'll take a color here. So dark field microscopy is, uh, is using, uh, it's used to see, to see objects or specimen which are uh, in a native form. Specimen in their native form. Means the specimens which are not stained. You don't need to stain them. With proper dark field technique, you can visualize them. Particularly the appendages to the specimen. For example, there is a specimen with multiple cilia coming in or there is a specimen with big flagella going in. So this kind of specimen is very well visualized with the help of dark field microscopy. So we can visualize unstained, unstained uh, specimens and we can visualize live specimens without killing them with the help of dark field microscopy. Although we can achieve that with phase contrast microscopy, but the principle is little different. Dark field microscopy is or dark field microscopes are far simple than phase contrast. Phase contrast microscope requires a separate apparatus known as condenser annulus. That's a totally different set. But in case of a dark field microscope, there is only a single attachment needed. The single attachment, glass attachment, needed. With the help of that attachment, you can clearly visualize, you can clearly see things or objects you normally cannot see with bright field microscopy. But again, this fitment can be done in your existing light microscopy. Most of the existing light microscope provides that fitment uh, place where you can fit your dark field uh, filter. So basically using a filter, you can turn a bright field microscope to a dark field microscope. The filter fits itself right beneath the condenser, the existing condenser of your microscope. So this is the light source. Then normally in a bright field microscope after light source there is condenser. But here between condenser and white light there is annular filter that plays important role. This is the only, this is the only unique structural component of dark field microscopy. There is nothing else that is present here that is separate than a bright field microscope. So through the condenser, the light will pass. The rest of the thing are same. The same existing objective will give you a better image. The same sample, the same condenser, everything. Only an annular filter is added. The annular filter or the dark field filter, how it looks like? It looks something like this. Okay, I'll draw, I'll, I must draw here. It looks something like this. In the center, something like this and light should pass through this so it looks something like this
okay so this filter size changes with changing uh, objective because this dark field filter should be set for like for 10x a particular filter for 40x a particular filter for 100x a particular different filter because the diameter of the filter uh, how they are shaded and how they are open and open that changes so in this case what we are doing specifically light will pass through this unshaded region so light will pass through this this and this but light will never pass through this regions because these are completely light block area okay so while the light will move you can clearly see this is a longitudinal section like this so you can see that light is passing only from the periphery from this from this circle that is present not passing through the middle not passing through the periphery only a particular circular line through which the light passing the light is passing through the condenser and then it will hit the specimen you can see this is the specimen it will hit the specimen now comes the important side whenever the light hits the specimen the specimen has something in it right it has components protein and other cellular components in it those components will scatter light in different intensity in different ways due to the change in the refractive index of the specimen from the background so background is a basic slide and the specimen is not that slide is something else something else is there so the specimen will scatter light so the refractive index under the specimen will be changed from the background so after the refractive index is changed so as a result of which the scattered light is now moving through the objective scattered light is moving through the objective and as it is moving through the objective it will now hit the you know eyepiece and we can see the object see the image but try to understand try to see this image again carefully you can clearly see whatever whatever light that are coming to the objective is actually coming from the specimen that's how it's designed any other light which is not coming through the specimen that is externally scattered light or the light coming from the periphery of the specimen or the light coming from the background slide of the specimen has no chance to get inside the objective due to the design of the annular filter we design annular filter in such a way the diameter of each of the shaded region in such a way that the light should not hit the objective from the surroundings the light coming from the specimen scattering should only hit the objective and as a result of which what happen is that this light moves in to the objective and we can visualize a picture so the picture that we visualize will be a background where no light is coming in so authentically a good dark filled image should not have anything in the background except for dark black color and in foreground the specimen will be as its normal transparent nature so whatever normal color you can see that so whatever specimen you can see that but the background will be dark black color this is what the dark field microscope is all about the dark field microscopy is all about okay i am going to share some image now i am going to show another slide with some image which will give you an idea about what kind of image we can see with the help of dark field microscope okay so you can take a screenshot if you want to at this moment then move to the next yeah here in this slide you can see plenty of dark microscope or dark field microscope image and they are not stained so don't confuse that they are stained no they are not stained they, this is their genuine natural color yes for the image purpose the quality is enhanced the color is enhanced but they have their own color yes organisms have their own color you cannot see this you can see to some extent for example this is volvox this color you can clearly see uh, with uh, the stain sample under the you know light microscope you can you can see that but uh, this sort of real imaging is you can see what a beauty it is this sort of real image you can only find with dark field microscopy that's why dark field microscopy will open up the idea to to interact and see so many important things so many organisms under the microscope and it's a blessing you know when i open the dark field microscopy and start observing things it like hours pass by just i just can't stop looking at them so beautiful you can see the images are larva and every all these images you can clearly see a pond water image 
Uh, so the creatures that are coming in the snail. This is basically one kind of snail that is coming. So all these things, you know, the structures, uh, they are beautifully designed. You can clearly see. Particularly, what I like about the dark field microscopy is these appendages. What kind of appendage? If you take the mosquito larva, you see a brilliant image like this. When you say any kind of insect larva, you see brilliant image. You can see these appendages. When you work with bacteria with flagella, wow, what a sight with dark field microscopy. When you see bacteria with a flagella. You'll find all these remarkable images and videos regarding uh, making all this in my channel. So stay tuned and get to know about all these important uh, updates regarding it. So this is uh, to give you a simple idea about the dark field microscopy, the principle of dark field microscopy. So I believe that we help you out. So that's all about dark field microscopy. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.